Hi, I'm Tracy Danzi. I am a 40 year old mother, nurse, US citizen, but also um, a resident of West Virginia and a resident of the Shenandoah Valley in West Virginia, which is an iconic valley um, filled with beauty and nature where people come from all around to wa um, walk our Appalachian trails, to whitewater raft, to kayak canoe, um, and to see all of our historic sites, um, many of which are our Civil War sites that have been preserved for years. Another aspect of my life is that I am an industrial pollution victim. We all are, but my case is a little unique in that I grew up in a town called Parkersburg, West Virginia. It's on the other side of West Virginia, and it is um, the site of a plastics producer. Um, this plastics producer um, produced Teflon, which uh, is the non-stick covering in, your, in some of your pans that you use. They, in their production, they created a byproduct called C8. It's, um, there's a story about this in a documentary called The Devil We Know, and there's a new Hollywood film call, uh, coming out called Dark Waters. What they did was they found that it was very difficult to find a way to, um, uh, to get rid of this byproduct. And, and um, so what they did was they, it began leaking into our waterways to start at, from retaining ponds and other uh, sources of um, um, uh, keeping the product. And then eventually C8 began to be dumped for a good 30 years into our waterways while the industry knowingly um, uh, contributed to hu poor human health effects. And um, they, they were aware and they continued to dump. Uh, in West Virginia, industries are responsible for um, um, reporting their own uh, potential toxins that then can be regulated. Um, so this was um, a company that was meeting all of the standards and regulations in West Virginia for 30 years yet they were dumping a um, carcinogen and um, a very dangerous toxin into our waterways, which we were all drinking. I was consuming it, we were all consuming it, but also I was a competitive swimmer, so I spent most of my developmental years swimming in these waters that um, eventually led to the um, destruction of my thyroid gland at age 20, and then at 25, um, I developed osteosarcoma of my hip, um, a disease that actually my childhood dogs had suffered from in the same location uh, five years earlier. It's a very rare thing to have, and mine was pathologically rare, which is common with industrial pollution um, that causes cancer. Uh, it resulted in the amputation of my hip and leg, and I now have one leg and I walk on forearm crutches. By the age um, 20, when my thyroid was, was beginning to fail, I was living on the other side of West Virginia in the Shenandoah Valley studying nursing at um, a university there. And um, I finished my, my uh, education there and um, began, began to love that valley, um, which had no heavy industry and still has no heavy industry. Um, and they are one of the most successful areas in, in West Virginia. Um, they are close to DC, Baltimore, Philadelphia, but, they, uh, but the Shenandoah Valley is a, is a beautiful place that um, prides itself on, its, on, on the fact that it has been protected and preserved for uh, uh, communities up until this point. When I became aware of Rockwool was um, when they came into our community. Um, we had heard about them as a light industry and um, we had uh, slowly, we discovered that through air permits that were coming uh, available to us that they were actually heavy industry and that um, they had used back channels 
and not the normal democratic process to have zoning changed in our community um, to be able to permit heavy industry. That is not the norm. Normally these kinds of decisions have hearings. So our community, including myself, became very angry and ve we felt very violated. And um, we immediately began to have concerns for the health of our population because um, they are planning and permitted to burn 80 metric tons of coal a day, as well as 45,000 uh, square meters of fracked gas a day. Um, that is something that Rockwell has confirmed, and um, we do not want to do this in the 21st century. We do not want these emissions in our community. It will decimate the already existing economy that relies on, on the beauty of the area. Um, our already existing successful economy, I should say. But mostly from my perspective, I'm a nurse, I'm a mother, uh, and a lover of, of, our, of our area there. And I feel an obligation that when all of the scientists that we bring and all of the medical professionals that we bring into the community and we ask them for their objective opinion, when they say to us over and over again, this will make children sick, this will make um, your population sick, that we have to listen to them and it's our responsibility to protect our community.